Hey, hello everyone. I'm just gonna come really quick today to show you how I bleach my knots on my lace closure. Um, my best friend actually got me to do this because she said I'm just wasting money by having it sit in my room. So um, all I've done is um, put it down on a styrofoam head with some um, pins. So I'm going to show you what you need right now. Okay, so I'm gonna show you all the things that you'll need for this process. Um, these are just the products that I'm using. Um, you could use whatever you want, but I, these are the products I'm using. So this is the Red Gold Corrector Plus. Um, these are drops that will be put in your mixture. I'm using the Clairol um, BW2 um, bleaching powder. And don't mind my nails, I know they need to be redone. And I'm using just the regular Salon Care 30 um, volume developer from Sally's. Um, and you'll also need a mixing bowl. Um, if you don't have a mixing bowl, make sure whatever bowl you use is plastic. Um, so this, and then um, I couldn't find any wooden um, mixers. So as ratchet as this is, I'm gonna use a plastic fork. I didn't wanna use my applicator brush because I don't um, want, I wanna be able to control the, the mixture better with the straight edge. So that's why I'm using this. Okay, so now to mix your mixture, I'll show you how to do that right now. Okay, you're going to take your bleach. And that's about half of the packet. So it's about this much. Then you're going to take your 30 volume developer. I'm going to do about four catfuls. And then you're going to take your drops and you're going to want to put about 20 or 30. And then you're going to just mix. And you want to make sure that you're in a ventilated area because this stuff does have a strong scent. So it's going to be a purplish color and it should from there turn into um, a pink and then it should go right back to white. So I'm just gonna let this sit and let the process happen for its color change. Okay, now as you can see, the bleach has now expanded. Um, it's a lot more foamy now. Um, and now it's ready to use. 
So here we go. So now here comes the fun part. We're gonna start putting the bleach on the closure. So you're just gonna rub the bleach. Don't force it down or anything like that. Just, just rub it on. And if you don't have a ribbon on your closure like me, you just go to the perimeter of the closure. I like the flatness of using this fork because then you could be a lot more gentle. Um, that's just me personally. You could use the applicator brush if you would like, but I'd rather use this. And um, don't be like me. Please put gloves on, ladies and gentlemen. Please use gloves. And you wanna be a lot lighter when you get to the front. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it. I'm now going to put a cap over the hair so that it could process. And you could use a blow dryer or foil or even a hooded dryer to um, process this, but since I live in California and it's super hot outside, I'm going to be eco-friendly and just set this outside. Now you do not want to go over 45 minutes or you will over process the hair. Also, if you get any bleach on any of the strands, please just use your finger to get it out before it processes it. And now I'm gonna take a processing cap and that is it. And I will be back in 40 minutes to show you what I do next. Okay guys, so I have let this process for about 45 minutes um, just because it wasn't that hot outside. Um, you're going to take the cap off, throw it away. I'm throwing the pins away as well because I don't really need them. Okay, so now I'm just gonna rinse the closure. I'm using Neutrogena shampoo. Some conditioner. see the knots are bleached as you can see knots are bleached no knots it now looks like a scalp And still to this day, this is one of my favorite, most realistic looking lace closures. The knots were perfect and it just takes minimal makeup. All I do is put a little concealer and then I put my face powder over it and um, I fool people all the time. So this is how I bleach my lace closures. I hope you enjoyed this video and like always guys, please follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Pocahontas underscore Natha. Bye.